We've all heard the expression, you are what you eat. And for your fish, it's no different. To get the best colouring, growth rate, and happy, healthy fish, you need to provide the best possible food. Now, the complexities come when you want to house fish that are different dietary requirements, such as this Trophius red malero. Now, that's a herbivorous fish, and the fish that's about to enter in the bottom left, the pointy-faced one, is the calvus. So he's a highly predatory fish requiring a higher protein value. Now, to balance this all out, we've decided to follow nature's design. As you can see in the lake, the fish are constantly foraging all the time, taking in large amounts of vegetable matter. So we recreate this. We feed our fish dried seaweed or nori. Crush it up, put it in the tank, fish go nuts for it. Now what it allows you to do is you keep your fish fuller for longer. Whereas most other people are feeding a McDonald's diet, we're feeding a high quality vegetable diet. The vegetable matter is still quite high in protein, but it's a vegetable protein rather than animal protein. This means that it has a much lower impact on your overall nitrate level, which is great for a fish keeper because it means less water changes. Now we're not suggesting that you feed only this food. It's definitely not what I'm suggesting. What I'm suggesting is that you use this as an addition to your, to your existing food to ensure that your fish always have a full belly but not producing so much nitrates and not producing so much wasted food because they can only absorb a certain amount of animal protein at any one time. So sometimes we're feeding our fish constantly but they're just not able to absorb it. It just gets pooped out and it has a bigger effect on your overall nitrates. As you can see, this is a colony of fish feeding on the nori. I just put it in the tank, hold it there, and they all come eventually take it out of your hands. These guys are a little bit shyer to do this, a little bit more nervous. As you can see, the fish in the lake itself were happy to come in. There's a large Tyrannochromus macrostoma that's darting in, smashing bits of food. Most of the females were keener to come in. The boys were all protecting their, their, their territories. You can also see some Compatichromus coming in to grab some food. So I say again, don't stop feeding your standard food. Just use something like nori as an addition. So you add it, say, once or twice a day to keep your fish fuller for longer. It's really worked for us. We've been feeding our fish this for over a year now, and it now makes up 60 to 80% of their overall diet. So that's pretty much mostly what they're getting. We then substitute in with freeze-dried krill, raw earthworms, and going back to either Hikari food or NLS, which is both great foods. Well, hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope it's made sense. Creating natural-looking aquariums that are easy to maintain.